Hello guys, my name is Balakrishna. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk on F1 student visa, how to get it approved. In fact, I'm going to give you 10 tips, 10 professional tips wherein you can easily get your student visa approved. So let's start off. So, and uh, provided the tips, so let me tell you uh, the important and basic uh, basic things of this uh, uh, F1 visa, my dear friends. First of all, you should be a regular and you know motivated students wherein you have a very good marks. Second thing, you should be focused on your studies. Third thing, you should have genuinity wherever you are applying for visa and provide answers to the consulate. So start off with the first point. So here is the tip number one. So tip number one is top and most important, my dear friends. The thing is uh, the university. The university in the US, what you select should be very important and the reputed university based on which your visa gets you know justified and uh, they will decide whether to provide you the visa or not. So I'm not saying this uh, university plays an important 100% role, but it plays a vital role in the sense if you have applied for top university and top university has provided you the uh, admission so deemed to that now that you are very much interested and even the university has uh, I mean, uh, observed you that you are a very good candidate just to name a few of them the first university in the US is uh, Northern University Northeast uh, University then second place it comes in PS University third it comes in Harvard University and uh, the last one Colorado University my dear friends apart from this there are also many universities where you can apply it Second important tip is get your, get your paper ready. Nothing but first thing is passport. Second thing is filled in application form that, that is a DS-160. Third thing is your uh, fees payment. Nothing but application fees payment. That's very important when you need to carry at the time of interview. The fourth uh, point at the uh, below what you call the documents comes uh, I-20 my dear friends. Friends, you can't even walk in for a visa, US visa interview because that is the uh, like that I don't is nothing but like invitation letter from the university as we have invitation letter from the client in case of B1 and B2 visa my dear friends so make sure that you get I20 before you walk in for the uh, F1 uh, student visa interview so now many people will have like you know what is uh, I20 and uh, what information does it provide I-20 is an immigration document but issued and issued by the university or the college. I am referring to two, two things. One is university or college. The, so it, it can be anything. Usually it is uh, you know, taken care by the college, my dear friends. Wherever you are applying and if you are being uh, issued an admission, so college will ask you to fill in the I-20 form online okay they will provide you access to the uh, their portal respect to portals so i don't uh, i don't will have all the information basic information uh, as we have whatever your basic inform information second thing is uh, you need to provide you know all the course uh, details any anyway, college will have all the details they will also validate that make sure that all the course details are uh, updated in i20 number three I-20 will also have what is the course duration, total duration and also what are the, you know, what value are the, what is the amount of that uh, course uh, duration, my dear friend. It may be $40,000 or up to $50,000, it depends on the course and duration of the course. So make sure that you update those correctly and uh, even one more column will be there where financials, uh, you need to update that. What I mean by financials, example, you are applying for the uh, any course, MS or MS, MS in the uh, MS or PhD or anything or any master degree in the US that may be finance or maybe related to business or maybe related to engineering. So maybe course uh, fees is about, uh, let's say about $40,000 example. So the thing is you need to prove how you are going to support your studies, $40,000. Do you have enough money with you? Okay. Do you have uh, like a loan? Have you applied for a loan from the bank? Or your father or any relative or any friend or anybody is uh, will it, they, are they going to support? So you need to justify the example. If your uh, father is supporting, you need to uh, provide the father's, you know, your parents' uh, bank statement or your bank statement where you have the forty thousand or fifty thousand dollars, my dear friend. Now coming to bank loan, in case nobody is supporting and you're supporting yourself, so you need to provide the bank sanction letter, loan sanction letter, or Loan you already got but transferred to the bank. That bank statement you need to provide the thing, uh, friends. The reason is that you know, uh, US government or college do not want to take any chances saying that you, know, you went for studies and you got the visa, you are in US now, but you are not able to take care of yourself. Example, you do not have the sufficient money, then it's a problem for them, for a problem for government, uh, Indian, uh, sorry, US government as well as the university, my dear friend. So you'll end up in either you'll come back to your home country or what will happen is you will uh, hunt for the uh, part-time job even that's not good for you as well as and as well as not good for the university as well wherein it will disturb your uh, studies as well my dear friend 
Make sure to upload all the uh, financial documents in the portal before you complete the uh, I-20. Once you have been selected and uh, admi admission of offered to you, the I-20 hard copy will uh, come to your place. I mean, address whatever you are given via usually I, I uh, think uh, FedEx. FedEx usually it comes from FedEx and uh, some university depends upon other uh, courier as well. And the, like you know your uh, GRE marks. So it's purely important my dear friend like you know if you have very less marks and you're applying for the MS or masters uh, in the US. So it is very difficult to convince the US officer, US visa officer that you know even though you're a little weak in studies and you want to go to US. So difficult to justify. So it's, it'll be much better if you have a very good uh, GRE marks. So what I mean to say is you Please work hard, provide more time in uh, uh, you know, like uh, preparing for the exams and the uh, entrance tests. So GRE marks is very important. Tip, uh, please uh, be sure to carry all the original documents, nothing but educational documents when you go for an interview. Okay, so they might ask any document. Usually if I see they will ask I-20 and uh, other details of university as per my knowledge and they will not ask anything physically unless if they want to know verify double time, especially the uh, financial document. So what I suggest is uh, carry all the educational documents plus uh, also like you know the if you have any uh, document for uh, if you have any like you know professional document also what I'm trying to say is after your graduation before you get the admission in US for MS or uh, uh, master's degree if you are working uh, somewhere in the company or apprenticeship or as a trainer as a training so get that document like you know working work certificate or maybe that what you call that uh, uh, experience certificate or uh, the uh, training apprenticeship uh, certificate my defense and provide them so that you have added advantage next tip is uh, dress code so i won't focus more on dress, dress code here for uh, student visa it's not a business visa but it will be much better if you go on a decent dress code don't go on you know, somewhat uh, fishy kind of thing you know it doesn't look nice go on a normal uh, i would say semi casual dress code that will be that will be much fine before I go on to the next tips, uh, my dear friends, so I would uh, like to focus on one more point. So I know that you know, I know that you are a student and you want to go for a higher studies and you have all the documents, sponsors, money, everything. But if you are not able to perform uh, better in the interview, then you might uh, lose uh, your uh, getting the visa for you know for further studies. So what I'm trying to say is, you are good, you will get it. So be confident, okay? Be confident whatever you're answering is. And be truthful, don't uh, mug up or don't prepare uh, so much that you, know, you will get too much stress and finally at the time of appearing for interview you will tell something else for the uh, or some answers. So don't get panicked, be confident and be truthful, just answer your questions calmly and to the uh, to the point in one sentence, okay. I'm not saying to the point means you just answer one word but uh, to the point but in one sentence. So my friend, crystal clear, okay? You should not give in a lengthy manner where you know they will get confused. Sometimes we do that, even I might do that now in the video. But your answer should be very, very clear. Example, if they ask which university you are going for, you should be able to tell I am going to the XYZ university. They might cross question you that you know, why you are selecting only that university. You need to justify them, I am selecting that university because XYZ reasons. Example, that is very famous and they are specialized in XYZ courses and I heard that you know, from my friends and other uh, relatives said that, that uh, university provides the best education so you need to build up okay you should also uh, convince the u.s uh, visa officers that you know you are going to u.s just for studying the uh, course whatever you have taken for maybe your mess or masters and in maybe two years three years whatever it is and after finishing the uh, uh, study you are just go coming back to your home uh, country my dear friend, whether it's india or canada or whatever country so you need to convince them if they are not convinced getting convinced that you are just going for studies so you have very less chance to get your visa approved my dear friend so you they should also not get a doubt that you know once you finish your degree you're going to stay there or like you know you may continue searching a job and continue uh, doing a job there so you should be very careful there so in case you know like after degree if you are if you have a plan of uh, settling there and uh, searching a job there that visa category is different that is called uh, uh, work authorization i'll uh, have a separate video on that later so make sure that you tell them that you know, after your studies graduation or masters you are just coming back to your home country some visa officers my dear friend they might go a little bit deeper if they have doubts so they might ask some you know, related questions like you no know, what are the subjects you are going to take in the course and uh, why only those subjects so you should be able to convince them again why you are selecting xyz subject 
in case if you are not able to convince them then they might get doubt that you are applying for the xyz uh, course in the university or college but you are not aware that what kind of subject and why you are uh, chosen that subject so if they ask like you know if you are uh, uh, taking any uh, let's say that you know like uh, let's say net networking or software engineering they would ask what software engineering what subject uh, under that or why you have taken that you should be able to uh, articulate that you know yes software engineering deals in xyz thing and under that i have interest in a particular subject sub subject that is that may be developing of any app particular app or maybe any telecommunication product something so it should be very specific to the answer like where if they cross question so try to you know articulate in a such a way that you know they should uh, think oh, okay you are done a lot of homework and you are very keen on the subject in questions and uh, i know that uh, they will not ask you every time and every student this question that you know you are going so in case if you are going for graduation this question they might not ask but if you are going for any ms or you know master degree they will ask they might ask you already have a degree very good valid degree and based on that degree you can get a job in your home country why you want to do ms or master degree so you need to articulate again and convince them that why you want to do masters is very very important because with a degree also you will get a job and with a masters also you will get a job so you need to tell them the reason why you want to do ms that to in us so maybe you can put in across that you know yes i want to do masters because i want to do more research on the subject i want to gain more knowledge on the subject or i want to have more expertise in the subject with the uh, practical uh, practical experience where you know university and college provides so in that way you need to uh, put across okay so just i'm just giving an example but you need to work on for your own uh, uh, own courses and uh, own subject material friends put across one more point my dear friends so this f1 visa is not uh, like you know other visa like business visa tourist visa where you have genuine uh, like you know uh, what you call normal questions answers where you know they will trick everywhere this you know a lot of documents a lot of, lot of information related this is f1 uh, student visa so really you need to prepare before going uh, for an interview okay i mean to say prepare i'm not saying just mug up what happens is you need to go through all your documents you need to go through all your subjects you need to go through the uh, university and uh, do a little more research about the university and college so about them so that you know, you'll remember at least when you are appearing for interview you can uh, discuss or you can tell the answers i'm not telling just mug up and tell in case if you are not making your homework then you won't remember if you won't remember then you cannot tell the correct answer even though whatever clearly you say so that may create a uh, no, little issue so make sure that at least two days before you just go through all the documents and all the information about your course at university and other details i think that's very important last point my different many people ask me comment me whenever i have the uh, session live sessions or uh, live session uh, on my youtube i uh, come online every sunday uh, that is 10 pm indian uh, time my different if you are interested to join you can join as well so they ask that you know sir uh, for students visa f1 visa or business visa tourist visa so is it okay if i am if i want to go to xyz location i don't want to go to this location example in india so they say i'm from bombay but i want to go for delhi now similarly if chennai they want to go for calcutta my dear friends i want to tell you it doesn't matter whichever consulate uh, you go whether whichever location you go it matters that what you present what interview you give you give and how you present your uh, answers my dear friend also what documents you have and what is your profile profile i'm referring to here again for f1 student visa your gre marks your educational background if you have any experience you know like a trainee that one and financial background who is going to support and your uh, attitude nothing but your focus your aim what to do in the us example you just want to finish the uh, ms and masters and come back my dear friend so very very important keep this in mind yes still if you have any questions on any visa related or f1 student visa related do uh, leave uh, your questions in the comment uh, below so i will try to answer this uh, your question as early as possible so also in case you want me to make any other video on any other topics let me know i will try to make them also in under visa category or in related to visa any questions you have or you want me to make any other video on a particular visa so let me know i will try to make uh, that as well my dear friend so until then until next video see you thank you thank you for watching bye